Hello everybody. Um, today's video is a Magnum. No, not any of those Magnums. This Magnum. But I will just show you that last one again for the benefit of any middle-aged English rock fans. So this is uh, the knife from the giveaway prize I won from Serene Madness, Brother Paul. Although I'm going to do a review of this knife and there are a couple of concerns that I'm going to mention. I don't want anybody to think um, it means I'm ungrateful with the prize that I've won or that I'm disrespecting Paul in any way. It was a very very generous prize and I'm very pleased with the knife that he's chosen for me. But it has to be said, a couple of subscribers have at least indicated they were going to buy knives based on my review. And so I think it's only fair that I do uh, an honest assessment. So let's have a look. Right, so here we go. Um, first thing to mention, if you can hear any dreadful soul music in the background that's not me there's a chap in the house next door doing some painting and decorating and as you know decorators radios are always stuck on sound of the 60s so Magnum by Boca cardboard box tray slides out and this is what we find there's a warranty card Nothing unusual there, just a standard Magnum by Boca. So we've got a fixed blade knife in a brown leather sheath. The main concern I have with this knife is with the sheath. Um, I think it's a generic sheath that Magnum use for several of their fixed blade knives because it has to be said it doesn't really fit the knife is quite loose the other problem is you've got a nice big snap fastener a big press stud but the leather is quite thin and that means when you pull on the press stud you putting a strain on this edge of the metal and I think over time that will cut through the leather. What I'm considering doing is adding an extra piece of leather, I've just got um, an off cut of a, a belt here just for uh, experimentation. I'm thinking that by putting a an extra piece of leather in there we might be able to achieve two things the first one is to stiffen this area so that the leather isn't being pulled out of shape when you pull on the stud and the other thing of course is to take up some of that slack room that's not going to cure the problem but I think it will help Ideally, of course, we'd put the stud a bit further down and then that would give us decent retention. But as I say, I think this is a generic sheath that they use for a few different knives. The knife itself, uh, I really like. I've looked at this a few times with a view to buying it and I think it's about £23-£24 to buy in the UK but I've never really been sure from the pictures what I thought of it when you get one in your hand 
I at least was instantly convinced. The things I wasn't sure about, the angled bolsters and the, the little angle there from the cutting edge down to the bottom bolster. I thought in the pictures that looks clumsy but when you see the knife you don't really notice it's, it's neither in or there to be honest uh, not an issue as I thought it was the angle bolsters which I thought were just trying to be fancy actually do give you a very nice positive grip it's um, full tang it's possible and I suspect that the bolsters and the blade and tang piece are all a single piece. I can't find any evidence of welds or joins. Um, and Boca do say it's a full tang, um, but they're not specific on whether it's all one piece. It's 440 stainless, doesn't say which one. Uh, hollow ground and we've got unspecified burlwood handle scales these are a pale sort of caramel and cream colour very nice two brass pins brass lanyard hole the only thing I would say to bear in mind with the knife is the fit and finish is nice and it's certainly fine in the price bracket but it's not perfect um, for example the bolsters there are not entirely symmetrical there are little places where the tang and the scales are not completely flush but you only notice it if you go looking for it and it's certainly not enough to create any hot spots or any discomfort in use as I say, from being unsure about this knife in the pictures, as soon as I got older one, I like it. I like it a lot. If we have a look at some specs, the blade length is a bit odd with this angle here. So if we just look at the cutting edge from in a straight line from the tip, we've got a cutting edge of around 102 millimeters so I think that's going to give us just four inches if I can get get the ruler to sit still yeah four inches the blade thickness is three millimeters I have seen the blade thickness described as five thirty seconds of an inch um, but that's four millimeters and that is clearly not four millimeters that's three it's a good heavy knife and get the scales out so in grams 191.3 grams which in English is six and three quarter ounces so it's heavy you feel like you've got a good useful chunk of metal comfortable four finger grip some shape in there the um, angle bolsters as well as a thumb ramp give you a decent finger guard the handle is slimmer at the bolsters flaring out gradually to a slightly wider heel fairly flat sides although there is a small radius that way and all the edges are rounded so 440 steel as it says there doesn't say which 440 so even if, let's assume it's 440A what's the edge like so this is the, the class Olsen catalogue paper and the factory edge looks very promising so 
So let's try that on a bit of phone book paper while I've got some. Little local phone book. On the finer phone book paper, you can feel there are one or two little snags. Which is a shame. But nothing that won't strop out. And those snags only show up on the very fine phone book paper. If you take the um, usual sort of catalogue magazine paper. Oh. Leaving my clumsiness aside. Hm. Made mess of that, didn't I? There we go. So it's a good edge. It's not perfect, but as I say, that only requires a little bit of a strop. So, for a knife in the sort of 23 to 25 pounds bracket, we've got a four inch blade, a big deep blade with a lot of belly, a brushed finish, burlwood scales. Fit and finish is fine, it's not show stopping standard, but there's nothing wrong with it, significant. That is a really nice knife. I would be happy to have spent my own money and bought this. As long as I was aware beforehand that the sheath is a bit lightweight and it's a bit saggy baggy because I don't believe it's specific to this knife. I think they use it for a few different knives. But all in all, as a giveaway prize, it's fabulous. I love it. And if I'd have spent my own money on that, I would still be happy with it. It's a little cracker. So thanks to Brother Paul, Serene Madness, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>